Hey YouTube, welcome back to our Candles Cartel YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how we make our coconut wax scented candles in our concrete jars. Today we have six of these 10 ounce jars and four of the eight ounce jars. So let's go ahead and get started. So starting off, we're gonna be using cotton wicks today. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you guys know that I love to use wooden wicks just because of the crackling effect and the overall heat that it provides. But since spring is here, it's rolled around the corner, I just felt like the cotton wicks would be best. It does still provide the same uh, clean burn, which I do really like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place them on the wick tabs. And then I just made these wick centering tools with my Cricut machine. If you guys would like a video on that, please comment down below to let me know. But I made these wick centering tools and I just used them to ensure that I am placing the wicks in the center of the jar and it just makes the process that much easier for me. As I'm wicking up the jars, I do also have my wax melting off to the side. I normally like to melt it at about 150 degrees Fahrenheit and pour it into my wax pitcher. And then from there, I add in whichever fragrance oil I'm using. I do like to use about 8 to 9% fragrance load per candle. I feel like that's just what helps my candles smell amazing every time. And then I go ahead and pour at about 140 degrees. Now, if you're still having trouble with your fragrance load or your candles not smelling the way that you want them to smell, I actually do have a completely free wax and fragrance oil uh, reference sheet that you guys can use. It is completely free. I will link it in the description for you guys to use as a candle reference. I definitely use it every single time I make candles just to make sure that I'm loading the correct fragrance load every time. Um, it's like a cheat sheet. I have it next to me. I have it on my phone. It's definitely amazing. So I will link it for you guys to use and hopefully that should help you kind of master um, your fragrance load and help your candle smell a lot stronger. So here I'm just repeating the process again and I actually do set timers on my Apple Watch for two minutes to make sure that I am stirring the fragrance oil into the wax and it is properly being binded together. And I do also feel like that made a huge difference in the way my candles smell. So make sure that you really take the time to stir each scent for two minutes before you pour. And then before I do that again, I'm going to go ahead and, and go in with my heat gun to make sure that I'm checking the temperature. And once I'm satisfied with the, with the temperature, I'm going to go ahead and pour. Um, I did just want to mention something quickly. So in the first uh, candle that I made, I did go ahead and use a cheesecloth and put it directly over the candle jar. Now, that is still a great way to make sure that you're not getting any debris or just any dust or anything in your candles. Um, but the best way to do it, I didn't unfortunately show it in this video, but I did do it for the rest of the candles, is actually using the cheesecloth when you are pouring the wax from the wax melter into your wax pitcher. That's the best way to do it. Um, I feel like that is just a lot easier for me when I put it over the candle jar. If I can't always see if it's fully filled, like if the jar is fully filled with wax. So I feel like when I filter it, when it's coming directly out of the wax melter is the best opportunity for me to do that. And then it just makes the pouring process that much easier. As the candles are setting, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my wick securing tool and just secure the wicks. Make sure that they are properly in the middle of the candle. And I feel like the best way to do this is kind of pull the wick upwards to also make sure that it is completely straight and that it's setting straight in your candle as well.
Once all the wicks have been secured, I'm going to go ahead and let the candles set for about 24 hours before I go in with my wick trimmers and trim the wick. And that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I truly hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And please remember, if you are making candles and you're looking for a reference guide in terms of how much fragrance you should be putting in each of your candle sizes, please make sure to check out the link in the description for the free reference sheet. I promise it'll be a big game changer in your candle making process. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.